Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Friday, number 30 day for this month of August 2024. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, sense past king, Lukong. Wuna welcome to another episode of our daily podcast. A program where it bring una the truth. It bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Our mommy them, our papa them, our good people across the world are bring una all revolutionary greetings. As we the enter come for this weekend, it be very good for remind our people them of the magnitude of this war. Because after eight years, some people they could forget the war, the damage we did for our population it be irreparable. There will be refugees that will never return, IDPs that will never return, life will never be the same in our life. The violence and insecurity would linger on for a very long time because that is just the nature of war unfortunately so today ladies and gentlemen we go start with the publication from ocha i think when i know ocha now the united nation office for the coordination of humanitarian affairs now the global body that way they for cameroon when i did observe and in the report about the facts using statistics for which way it happened. The one at the report where they release them for 26th day for this August 2024. It be titled Cameroon Northwest and Southwest Operational Presence from June 2024 to the current date. The document it reads, it say, during the second quarter of this year, a total of 86 humanitarian organizations reports implementing activities in the northwest and southwest that means say over 86 people they don't do something ngo they don't do something for ground zero way they don't report them for the united nation this one it include 66 national ngos and 10 united nation agencies nine international ngos and one organization from the red cross rc rc not a big red cross we get office them all around our territory. The PRAP would not always assist all these NGO them, for give them access and for negotiate with our boys and make them understand their mission and also for educate our population generally so that they allow them to do their work. We'll be very happy to see it and go on smooth so far. So I think that only seven division them out of all the seven or the 14 division them for inside Ambazonia where they don't visit them, then get for then go for Bui, then get 26 mission them for Bui, 20 for Bui, 26 for Boyo, for Ndonga Mantung 18, for Menchum 12, for Mezam 45, and for Momo 19, for Ngokitunja, then get 21, Sa Southwest for Fako, then get 43, for inside uh, Kupi Maninguba 17, Lebialem 11, Manu 21. Meme 27 and Vandian 13. It will show na say the least accessible place we the ram visit them na it show the place will be very in cliff and where things end for day it be very hard. Na Vandian we be very low Kupe Maningumba it be very low for inside what area for Norway the lowest one for Ndung for for Ndunga Mantung second one na for inside uh, uh, Menchum. So those are in cliff areas. Eh? So those are the things where they don't, um, they don't bring educational material, food security, health, nutrition, protection, and then for shelter. For shelter, na sh- the organization where they call and say, show mass, na they don't already do a lot of work for in terms of giving a shelter. And they don't operate mainly for Momo, Mezam, and also for, for Menchum. And I think for inside Norway, they also operate for Kubeman for Ndonga Mantung. 
I think for our IDP, our people never ground zero, this information will be more relevant. The NGOs and where the United Nations one help them, they will target the population of 991,000 of our people, the way they be, they need urgent help, then succeed for reach only 91,000 of our people, them include them, then get 11 people, the way they be handicapped or when they be crippled. For Bui, we don't get news, say two of our big soldiers, they don't fall. It'd be very unfortunate, then be ambushed by La Republic to Cameroon. We never get exactly the things that we surround them, but we don't get the information where they come from uh, Tadu, say Commander Jeru and Commander Luba, say then two, they don't fall for inside Bui. And uh, would he pray for the family and would he, would he thank them for their service and want to honor them for the great sacrifices the way they don't do them. So every day with the lost big soldier, with the lost soldier then for Ambazonia, what people they need for no say as they they go one manda it bole. Now the best time for we for catch out for the good fight with our people they don't fight for the past eighty years. Me so man no disifuna. The fight and the steam you no go ever go back for the way we it be again because of the internal dynamic we'll get them for this struggle. Now the time for we for come together for try for gateway to get them, for get the maximum autonomy from for our people them, the maximum concession from the Cameroon government for be able for secure our, in, our independence in the future because it not be realistic, it not be possible for we for get them within the short term. I think say Tibo Nagi that make and clear say be an, an impossibility because the only way we'll forget them a true fighting now and we're not so enough to beat La Republic to Cameroon without already triumph. It done pass with but without already win because Cameroon then concede for this their grand national dialogue and we need for recognize them. Make we not begin follow people the way they be so radical, they be so irrational, then be careless with the life of our people, they they murder our own, they they turn against our own. There is no hope for those people them. People where they not be care for education, they no go ever can care for any other thing. This struggle na a game for them. So we need for no they lost what they lost on the ground zero. We need to talk them happily, but now the sad reality that say we need for recognize these losses and for no say no be sustainable. By the time wa wa I go open, wa manda go down bole. So na time for we for take advantage, engage in this negotiation. We will struggle for doing for prep. And the other Ambazonian organization, the way they don't partner with we, for look for an alternative where it be attainable and where you go get the backing of the international community. As we prepare our way for go for the United Nations for seek international endorsement because we will not trust Cameroon, we will call on all our people then for come together. The PRAP Idan received an official request from one of the biggest Ambazonian refugee group them for go also for they for go listen for them. Me then also listen for we for hear the proposition for an alternative solution for the PPP. We address even the return of our refugees, our people in the diaspora, our political prisoners and all those things. So we are raising funds. If you are listening to me and you want to contribute to the PRAP and you believe in our vision, contribute and make it happen. We need the resources to be able to carry out this PPP mission, similar to what we did with our refugees in Nigeria. Fellow Ambazonians, we then get increased requests from school proprietor them from Ground Zero, especially for Bamenda area and also for other enclave area, including for Limbe. It then be clear say the dogs of war they go intimidate our people into having a lockdown. It then be clear the position where the prop it then take up and say we reject any unsensible, any unreasonable. Lockdown for Ambazonia, we reject it as a matter of principle. And this one also, school starts in September 3rd. School that already starts on school that already start. We encourage everybody to meet and go out. But we sit there and say meet and be vigilant because the two dogs of war them, them be together in this for hunt our people them down. You get the extremist, you get the Konda titles motivated using their network. We have evidence already so we know that the threat against our people are real and it is for for their benefit to make sure that this school year is interrupted but it is the interest of our people the, for the betterment of ambazonia the betterment of the future of the anglophones and all the people of west cameroon for us to start school 
we cannot let our children behind we cannot continue to allow education to become a political pawn in this our battle for our self-determination it weakens us it does not help us when we do that we encourage schools and children to go to school and we are cautioning Ambazonian forces not to use force against our own people but be vigilant but we cannot also accept that our people should be oppressed by those who seek to oppress them in this lockdown period whether them be it the la republic agents or they be it ambazonians who have been derailed we must continue to resist the rock and the hard place as they talk oh man find a way ma pikin una kamo they say mami two walks of two dogs of war and they wrote so they will talk to me oh man find a way for reach for the safe hands for reach for school for educate our people them for prepare them for the future will be a stronger foundation that would ever be this coming weekend we go to broke for down the various packages for the ppp you know be be possible for release for the general public they copy but the organ or ambazonian organization that don't get a copy the stadium would work hard on it no be just a prep issue now if we conclude for our people they say it is not a prep document anymore because the other organization the way they don't engage they don't be able for edit editam for futuram and make it get a an ambazonian shape of its own so it's no longer a prep issue so we'll go on this weekend to provide una more details about our engagement in this regard and we'll call on all men of god all women of god to put our students and this school resumption in ambazonia in prayers pray for peace pray for justice pray for freedom of our people capo daniel looking out for you signing off